When we were young, the TV dramas were such that suddenly there is a black and white TV, there is a gentleman who is sitting and he is just, he walked very slowly, he opened the window and just there is a tree there, wind is blowing, he is watching in that tree and this whole scene takes about 20 minutes and all of us are very patiently watching that scene very calmly, very quietly. And certainly if you watch a movie now, there is hardly a take which is more than four seconds and five seconds. And continuously, the scenes, they just move continuously. Somehow, the human mind has become so much tuned that it cannot focus on one point. And I can just scientifically explain, there is a chemical substance called dopamine. This dopamine is a pleasure chemical and whenever we do something which gives us pleasure, may it be a positive pleasure or a negative pleasure that is produced. When we do something like an exercise, you go in a gym and you do a workout, that dopamine is produced in a very, very conducive quantities and those optimum quality quantities that it gives you a very, very positive pleasure and drive. But for example, if you take a hashish, you take ice or you take any other drug, then it produces in a tremendous amount. And when it produces in tre tremendous amount, it gives us a high. But the problem for those receptors are with which the dopamine attaches, it has got an ability to inflate. So the amount of dopamine required to satisfy that happiness thing is going to increase serially. It, a study has been published that f I don't know the exact figure, but the amount I can give you only the presumptive figures, the amount of dopamine 20 years back required for an average person to give him a sense of happiness and satisfaction was in nanograms, maybe two nanograms. But now an average person can feel happiness for a dose which is many thousand times than that of the dose which, is, which was required 20 years back. So the whole humanity has developed their central nervous system in such a way that they are not satisfied. And behind them is actually a concept of a consumer society. Behi because consumer society, which is there are a lot of good things in West, but some of those good things are good for the financial growth, but they are not good for the individual growth. And that is a concept of a consumer society. If person is spending more, then the economy will move more. In order to compel someone to spend more, you have to create a lust in a person. In order to create a lust in a person, you have to produce those things which satisfy their dopamine level. This has resulted in a concept of brand consciousness. This mobile phone, I mean, this mobile phone is in my friend's hand. Mobile phone just makes a small change. Instead of three cameras, it makes four cameras and price becomes one lakh more. And those persons who are actually utilizing it perfectly, they are compelled to buy it because they have to be brand consciousness. No, so there is not one single answer to your question, but impatient mind is actually an international problem. And that is because of consumer capitalist uh, mindset, which has resulted in creating lust in a people in such a way that now they have changed the biochemistry of a person and everyone is behind a lust. And for lust, they have to continuously change. If you don't continuously change, you cannot satisfy your lust receptors, which are there in their head. So that physiology has become now pathology. We perhaps in a collective way, perhaps we cannot change it, but in an individual way, uh, we can change it. If we just do something, most important thing is to learn the skill of minimalism. This concept, you know, after this lecture, if you have a time, you please go through the internet and write this concept of minimalism. There is actually movements in the world which are 
are which have started from west actually because of understanding this impatience in the human society that we should learn minimalism if we have got two three shirts that should be enough for me because if we have 20 shirt at one time i have to wear only one shirt so there will be two more for me 